Greetings and namaskar to each one who came here to watch this video. Topic of today's video is gauge transformation. So basically the transformation relation under which the physical quantities E and B are unchanged are known as gauge transformation. The first thing that should come in your mind from the gauge transformation is that the physical quantities are unchanged under this transformation. Well, we know that we represent magnetic field by B and electric field by E and these are the two expressions for them. B that is magnetic field is written as del cross A and we know that A is the vector potential. Similarly for E, we write electric field as minus del phi minus curly A by curly T. Here in the electric field, we use both the scalar potential and the vector potential. Here phi is the scalar potential and A is the vector potential. So now proceeding further, we will consider two transformation, one for the scalar and the other for the vector potential. And then we will further use it to prove this gauge transformation. So E is transferred to A dash and phi is transferred to phi dash and these are expressed as a dash is equals to A minus grade psi, mark it as third and phi dash is equals to phi plus curly psi by curly t, mark it as fourth equation. So these are the two transformations that we are going to use in this derivation. Now let's consider another magnetic field that is B dash and it can be expressed as del cross A dash, right? And now we are going to use this transformation here at the place of A dash. So we can write it as B dash is equals to here we place the value of A dash that is A minus grade psi. Now simply using the distributive property we will solve it that is del cross A minus del cross gradient of psi. And from the vector quantity we know that this term is equals to 0 that is del cross great psi gives us 0. So finally we will get only del cross A as a result and we know that from equation 1 that it is equals to B. So from here B dash is equals to B. Mark it as equation 6th. Now let's move to the electric field considering another electric field that is E dash. So it can be written as minus del phi dash minus curly A dash upon curly T. Again, here using those transformations and putting the values of phi dash and a dash here over it. So we'll get e dash is equals to minus del phi plus del psi upon del t minus curl a minus gradient of psi upon curl t. So again using the distributive property, we'll solve it and we'll finally get this equation. Now see in this second term, we can write this del inside along the psi like del psi phi upon del t and here in the last term we can write gradient as del so it will become del psi now you can see this second term and the last term are same with opposite sign so we can cancel them and finally we are left with minus del phi minus curly a upon curly t from equation second it is equals to e so again we can see that e dash now is equals to e you can see here that E dash has the coordinates phi dash and A dash while E has the coordinates phi and A. No matter whether the coordinates are different but the electric field will remain same under this transformation. So this was the gauge transformation. Now let's sum it up. Here these two transformations that is equation third and fourth. These are known as gauge transformation. Alright. Also this B and E are known as gauge invariants because they are not changing under this transformation. And also this psi which is a scalar function this is called the gauge function. So finally we can conclude this in one line is the physical quantities E and B are unchanged under gauge transformation. And this invariance of fields is called gauge invariance. So that's it for today's video. Hope you found this video productive. Thanks for giving your time here. Take care.